The police at the second crime scene immediately were there because by the time um, Sugar's car had broken down, the shots had already uh, rang out. All of that was already uh, a known factor at that point that something had happened and the vehicles had done a U-turn and was headed back uh, toward the Las Vegas Strip. The police were immediately there when I finally got there, which was a minute, maybe a minute behind him. So they were there. The ambulance, uh, the paramedics, I would say, uh, were immediately there as well because they had gotten a call. Had they been two or three minutes late, he would have died right there. They had uh, Suge out of the vehicle uh, on the ground, uh, you know, laying on the ground. And as I was approaching him, the blood was shooting up out of his head. Right? So I'm yelling, let him up, let him up. He's with us. He was part of the uh, entourage. So the cops go, who are you? I go, I'm the bodyguard. I go, I was with them. I'm the bodyguard. I go, he's a uh, victim here. So they let him up. And when they let him up, Tupac is still sitting in the uh, passenger seat. The door is still closed. The paramedics are over there trying to open the door along with the uh, police. They can't get the door open. So Suge says, I can do it. I can do it. It's my car. I'll open it. The door was actually stuck. So Suge got over there, opened the door, and we pulled Pac out of the car. When we pulled him out of the car, we lined him down um, on the side of the car, and I'm kneeling down at this time, and I'm talking to him like, Pac, man, Pac, Pac. And he's like, <sighs> he's trying to breathe. And then he goes, I can't, I can't breathe. 